What's going on my beautiful people? My name is Alex Garfe and thank you guys so much for joining me today for another recipe video. Hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday today. I have a special video for you. It's one of my best creations, a tofu scramble burrito and probably my best one yet. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the kitchen. All right guys, welcome to another recipe video. Today I'm gonna be making a tofu scramble burrito. This is my favorite go-to breakfast and it's pretty simple. These are the ingredients that you'll need. Some super firm tofu, some cowboy caviar, which is a corn, black bean, pepper, salsa. Got a potato right here and then I got a big tortilla that I'm gonna lay it on. So I already got this potato washed up. I'm going to cut it up here thin and then I'm going to air fry it. All right, got the potato all cut up here. I'm going to dry this off with a paper towel, just get all the excess water off of it. And then I'm going to put it in a bowl and spice it up and mix it up. First, I'm just gonna spray with a little avocado oil. Get the oil all around there. If you guys don't have an air fryer, you can boil the potatoes first and then just put them in the oven. They get way crispier if you do that. Or you can just put them in the oven as is. They just take a little bit longer. I find that if you boil them, they get a little more crispy, which I like. But doing this and putting them in the air fryer gets them very nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit of salt, then black pepper, a little bit of paprika, there's no exact measurements for the spices, but obviously too much spices is gonna overtake the dish. And what I just put right there was chili powder. So we got salt, black pepper, chili powder, and paprika. I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic powder. And then now we're ready to mix it up. As you guys can see, they got real spiced up, evenly coated. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer at about 375 for about 10 minutes. Now, the next thing we wanna do is start prepping the tofu. So I'm gonna cut this open and then go drain the water out in the sink. And here's the block of tofu. I'm definitely not gonna be using the whole thing. Probably just gonna do like, I would say a quarter of it. So that's the portion that I'll use right there. And I'll put this away. And then I wanna press as much water as I can out of this tofu. It doesn't look like it's very wet, but as you can see, it does hold a lot of moisture. So I'm gonna grab a couple paper towels and just keep getting the water out of it. And then we're just gonna crumble it. And I'm moving a little faster now because my my camera battery died and my other one only has two bars so who knows when it'll go back to one it seems like most of the water is out of this now so now what you want to do is you want to crumble it with your hands and I find that the finer I get the tofu the more that I can get it to retain flavor and not just taste like a sponge so I'll give it one round of the crumbles in the beginning and we'll go in and crumble it again and as you can see that's what it's looking like and now we're gonna add the spices gonna be the same spices but I'm also gonna add onion powder to this one and a little bit of turmeric all right so first I'm gonna just do a little bit of salt black pepper chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, and a little bit of onion powder. And then to give it that yellow scrambled egg color, we just do a little bit of turmeric, and it also has a lot of health benefits, especially when mixed with the black pepper. Same thing as before, just gonna shake it up, make sure it's all coated. As you can see, the big chunks came to the top, but I'm gonna use a wooden spoon when we're cooking it in the pan, and I'm gonna continue to break it down a little bit more so it gets finer and finer. All right, so I got my cast iron pan heating up on medium heat right here. I sprayed a little bit of avocado oil in there, and as soon as it warms up, we'll start adding the tofu. Here's the potatoes after about eight minutes, so they actually look like they're done. I'm just gonna let them sit in the air fryer and turn it off just so they stay warm, because the tofu's not done yet, but those potatoes look delicious. Try one just to test it out. Oh yeah, already crispy. That's why I love the air fryer. Potatoes usually take a while to cook and these were literally eight minutes at 350 and they're perfect. All right, so I think this is heating up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all the tofu. And this is what I mean by breaking it down a little more and getting it finer. You just use this spoon right here or whatever you'd call this. As it cooks more, you can see it starts to get a little bit more yellow and it starts to resemble more of that scrambled egg look. And that is solely the turmeric doing that. It's orange, but then when you put it on stuff, and then it turns yellow, so. Kind of weird. It's gonna turn the heat down just a little bit and then add a little bit of soy milk. I'm just continuing to break it down and get it finer and finer so there's no bits of bland tofu left. They'll all be fully coated with the spice that we added. All right, and this is pretty much done. Just gonna let it sit. Turn the heat off, let it sit here for a little bit. Already got the potatoes done, now I'm gonna start warming up the tortilla. All right, got the warmed up tortilla right here. First things first, I'm gonna add some of that cowboy caviar, which is that salsa that you guys saw. Just gonna lay it down on the bottom here. And then I'm going to add this fresh avocado. I already cubed it up. I'll just spread that around. Now we'll add those beautiful potatoes. And then of course the protein. And would you look at that, oh my goodness.
And now the funnest part is rolling it up. You think you'd get better at this over time, but it seems to not be that easy. Ah, little mistake there. I think we got it though. Let's take those out. And there's the final product, guys. I'll cut it in half just to show you guys. Oh. All right, guys, I had to step outside to do this little taste test, but check it out. First bite, here we go. I don't want it to fall out, so I'm gonna take a big one. I can't even talk, it's so good. I had to come inside, but guys, this is literally my favorite burrito ever. The sweetness from that corn salsa, it's also a little bit spicy, mixed with all the savory spices on the tofu, and then the avocado for that fat. I'm not even over exaggerating, this is probably my best burrito that I've ever made. I did make this last week, but it wasn't this good, and I'm not really sure why, because I did pretty much the same thing, aside from adding the avocado, but hands down, the best burrito I've ever made. If you guys are into tofu scramble burritos, I definitely recommend trying this recipe. Tag me on Instagram if you guys do decide to try this, it is literally so good. I'll repost it in my story, and I wanna see your guys' creation. Anything else that you guys can add to this to make even better I want to see what you guys do I love making simple food like this it's so easy and quick as you guys saw from the video I pretty much rolled it in one take aside from switching the battery the second time but aside from that literally it was so quick and easy to make and so delicious so it just lets you know that you don't have to miss out on anything going vegan literally you can make the same exact foods and have them taste the exact same and they can be a lot healthier so I'm gonna finish up this burrito here I don't even know why I'm still talking this literally is so good I need to go finish it I need to finish the other half as well so I'll see you guys here in a little bit and that concludes the video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys made it to the end i really really appreciate it if you guys found value in this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you in the next video deduce